continue. Okay, so I was thinking about it, and I think I'm going to go ahead and teach the HM Pokemon that we have fly, because then we can fly back to Pewter, and now that we have cut, we can get into, like, that little extra part of the museum, right? And then we can get the old Amber, I think. Uh, let's get rid of Lear. And then that way we'll have the old Amber for when we go to Cinnabar. Like, so that way we won't have to, like, backtrack or anything. Here we are, easy as that. And, yeah, because I think a lot of people probably, like, go to Cinnabar and then, like, come back here, maybe. Is there an item back here? No. And why does that exist? I'm not sure who we're gonna teach Surf. The Ember is clear and gold. I think that this chunk of amber contains Pokemon DNA. It would be great if Pokemon could be resurrected from it. But my colleagues just ignore me, so I have a favor to ask. Take this to a Pokemon lab and get it examined. Received old amber. You can't sneak in the back way. Oh, whatever. Do you know what amber is? Yes. There's a lab somewhere trying to resurrect ancient Pokémon from Amber. We are proud of two fossils of very rare prehistoric Pokémon. Okay, that was a little anticlimactic, but you know, there's your Jurassic Park reference. Um... So now... I guess we'll just... Wait, can I not? Oh, okay, you have to like use up and down. And then it like scrolls through the cities. That's kind of weird. Back to Fuchsia. Let's take a look at the team. I was thinking about it and I think, um... I think I need pencil instead of- ah, but I just hopped over this. Okay, it just doesn't matter. Um, I went ahead and looked into some of, like, the, uh, the moves and stuff. Um, that pencil is hopefully gonna learn here. And, um, Pencil is supposed to learn Double Kick, and so I've- and since Hitmonlee only really learns Fighting-type moves, it can also eventually learn Mega Kick, but I don't really know if that's worth it. That item ball is there is really a Pokémon. I'm not sure if there's, like, anything to do besides talk to NPCs. This guy's a name, Eric. Where's Sarah? I said I'd meet her here.
Here's the mart. We definitely need to stock up on potions and stuff. Uh, I don't think I have anything to sell right now. Oh, you have super potions. Just what? But that didn't somewhere else we go only have hyper potions? Doesn't this feel a little like out of <laughs> order? Whatever, super potions work just fine. Um, I have a ton of money. So... Yeah, maybe I should actually spend it. Um... Get a few more full heals. I don't think I need that many. I have too much money. Did you try the Safari game? Some Pokemon can only be caught there. Well, oh no, it got rid of all the trees. Dang it. Okay. Well, let's go inside of, uh, this building first, just to see what it is. Slowpoke is very knowledgeable about Pokemon. He even has some fossils of rare extinct Pokemon. Okay, he says Slowpoke. Is this guy's name Slowpoke? We nicknamed the warden Slowpoke. He and Slowpoke both look vacant. Aww. Slowpoke came in, but I couldn't understand him. I think he's got a speech problem. Oh, okay. Crammed full of Pokemon books. Oh, it's because he doesn't have teeth. That's what it is. I was like, trying to figure out why that would be like a notable thing to put in the dialogue. It's because he doesn't have teeth. Gotta go find his teeth. Welcome to the Safari Zone. For just 500 Poke, you can catch all the Pokemon you want in the park. Would you like to join the hunt? Sure, even though we won't be catching anything. That'll be 500 Poke. We only use a special Poke Ball here. Mary received 30 Safari Balls. We'll call you on the PA when you run out of time. Or Safari Balls. Okay, so... Um, I wonder if steps count while you're inside. I'm catching Pokemon to take home as gifts. Oh, this is Sarah. Where did my boyfriend Eric go? Oh, you y'all, you two are confused. <laughs> Rest house. Okay. Um. Uh, let's see here. I don't know, I don't remember, like, anywhere where I'm supposed to go, so... I'm just wasting steps. Ooh, a Parasect. Uh, we are just gonna run. Because we are not interested. What? Why is there, like, evolution music playing? Center area. North area, too. Nidoran. I obviously have, like, not been going into grass that much in general. Um, just because I either don't need to grind or um ooh item carbos let's go ahead and give that to someone um what does that carbos actually do let's give it 
to monitor. Um, I think it's just a circle. Hmm. But yeah, this will be sort of nice because I'm forced to go through grass so we can actually appreciate some of the uh, wild Pokemon sprites and stuff and just kind of see what's in here. Ooh, more items. TM37. Egg bomb. Um, wouldn't, like, execute or whatever already, like, learn that on its own? Why would that need to be a TM? Like, I feel like it's kind of like when we got Thundershock and I was thinking about using it on Pencil. But Pencil ended up learning Thundershock, so it just didn't matter. How many did you catch? I'm bushed from the work. I got a Chansey. That makes this all worthwhile. Phew, I'm tired from all the fun. They make the Safari Zone in this seem, like, pretty, like, uh, it almost feels like the bug catching contest or something, because, like, they call it the Safari Game, and, like, everybody's talking about how much fun it is. It's not, like, this thing where, like, in the anime isn't, like, the Safari Zone, like, this place for, like, endangered Pokemon to, like, try to, like, recoup and repopulate. Like, I, I know as a kid, like, I think my image of the Safari Zone was, like, um, a lot closer to those, like, uh, like, wildlife preserves. Um. Yeah, and the tone of this so far it just kind of feels like the bug catching contest or something. Oh, there's a Chansey. And here's an item. TM40. Gotta go all the way down to the bottom. Skull Bash. Um... Doesn't Skull Bash, um, cause recoil? Yeah, I might pass on Skull Bash. Protein. I might just give that to Monitor again. Because I feel like, I mean, Pencil isn't present, so I feel like Monitor is the only one that kind of needs help. Because, like, Speakers, like, already has so much freaking health. Nope. Nope. Or I guess that might have been a bit of a waste on Monitor. I think that was the wrong stat. Oh well. It's not in my bag anymore, that's all that I really care about. Do these signs help at all? Trainer tips. The secret house is still ahead. Okay. Oh. Dang it. Uh, <laughs> let's try again. Sure. I was just, just moseying around, taking my sweet time. 
And, and then the bell got me. Trainer tips. Press the start button to check remaining time. I don't know if that... is gonna help me that much, because I don't know, like, how many steps it is to the house. Center area. Hmm. Execute. I guess I'm just gonna have to try to be like more efficient with my steps. Uh but it's not like I remember the route perfectly. We'll see how many tries this takes me. kinds of encounters. Trainer tips. The remaining time declines only when you walk. Um, okay, I guess we'll follow, like, the sign. Yeah, that was the correct choice. Um, trainer tips. Win a free HM for finding the secret house. Try in. I don't know where it is. I guess that's why it's like, find it. You silly. Uh, big, big square and empty. Gen 1. That should be the motto. Okay, that wasted a ton of steps. So we're doing great. Tips. Pokemon hide in tall grass. Zigzag through grassy areas to flush them out. Uh... I think this is new, maybe? No, this is just a big area with some grass. Area two. Trainer tips. Zone exploration campaign, the search for the secret house. Um, I guess we'll try going this way. I don't know if anything kind of circles around or not. Oh, okay, so this is just at the beginning. Uh... Max revives, those are nice. Max potion. Ooh, is this it? Or is this just another rest house? 
Tossing rocks at Pokemon might make them run, but they'll be easier to catch. I hiked a lot, but I didn't see any Pokemon I wanted. Using bait will make Pokemon easier to catch. Okay, this is just another rest house. Ah. Hmm. I guess I, can, I just gotta keep going at it. I don't really see, like, a real other method. And I don't want to look it up. Gotta pay to play, but that's just how it is. Okay, so... Maybe I can remember the route a little easier? Does anybody else really hate that Doduo is flying type? I really don't like that. <laughs> um, this is right, I think. People make, like, entire YouTube videos about, like, what types would make more sense for which Pokemon. But that's definitely one that I fully agree with, because I'm under the assumption that, like, Doduo is based on, like, an ostrich. So, why is it flying? Did we go up here? I can't remember. Everything looks the same. I guess we'll, we'll find out. Okay, this was area two. Where did we go that had that sign that was like, the secret house is up ahead? I'm gonna go north this time. Big bushy trees, those are kind of neat. Because I'm pretty sure those are just unique to the safari zone. Secret house is still ahead. Okay, so maybe going up was correct. Or at least finding more items. Gold teeth! Okay, so that was important. Request notice. Please find the Safari Warden's lost gold teeth. They're around here somewhere. Reward offered. Contact Warden. Okay, so now do we go downwards or do we go to the left? Ooh, there's more items. Another TM. Let's see what that is. Gotta go all the way down. Double team! Mmm, not for me. Okay, this looks like it's probably the secret house. Ah, finally! You're the first person to reach the secret house. I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you have won! You don't have room for this fabulous prize. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I just had to go pick up the full the old amber. I was like, I'm so smart. Oh, that is so annoying. Um Okay, I think someone's gonna learn toxic. <laughs> Um, who has a move that, like, they're not really using that much? 
Oh, Dragon Rage, yeah, Toxic. It, or Tackle. Um, Dragon Rage is not useful at this point in the game. Okay. Lamp now's no, now knows Toxic. Okay. Also, I think I think I'm just gonna straight up teach Lamp Surf. Um because I mean Hmm. Or maybe I should give it to to speakers. Because it's definitely going to be better than Water Gun. Is it better than Bubble Beam, though? Because I've noticed that Bubble Beam has been pretty lacking of late. And I don't know if Lamp learns that many more moves. I think I'm going to go ahead and give it to Speakers. It's definitely better than Water Gun. Can't really argue against that. And even though it's not really represented in the game graphics, like, we can now have the concept of- Oh! I can now, I'll, like, surf this way. Um, or wait, can I- Yes, I can use it, because we beat Koga. Cool. Rest house. Oh, and this is the one from the beginning. I think. So... Maybe not. Maybe I'm still lost. That's okay. But yeah, Duduo being flying type has always bothered me. Um, you know what does not bother me though? That I think bothers a lot. Ooh, a Tauros. Um, what does not bother me that I think bothers a lot of other people is that I think a lot of people don't like Lugia being flying type. That has never bothered me. Um, yeah, like, ooh, we can maybe get that item. That would- do I even have room for that item? Probably not. Well, let's- let's just go anyway. No more room. It's just gonna be like another TM or something, but I'm- I'm curious and, you know... Okay. What do I not need? I should probably just get rid of one of these TMs that, like, I'm not gonna use. What was this? Egg bomb. I'm not gonna teach anyone egg bomb. We can- we can just toss egg bomb. Now let's see what random- oh, it's a nugget. Okay, well, I'm filthy rich, so that doesn't really help that much either, but at least now our curiosity is satiated. Is there- are there Pokemon in the water? There's gotta be, right? We're not running into any. Are there not Pokemon in the water? We will never know. Okay, so now I have to like find the warden's house, I believe, so I can give him his teeth. This is such like a weird little subplot in this game. You have to, like, find this man's teeth that were on the ground in this weird little safari park that you paid money to get into. I think this is him. No, this is the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. Do you like fishing? 
Oh no, you have no room for my gift. I mean, we're not gonna use the rod. Mary gave the gold teeth to the warden. Okay, so I think if we talked to him before we had the teeth in our bag, he, he just would have been like mumbling noises. The warden popped in his teeth. Thanks, kid. No one could understand a word that I said. I couldn't work that way. Let me give you something for your trouble. Oh, that's kind of nice that it, you, it knows that you have room for the HM because you gave him the teeth. I don't think that was like planned or anything. I think that just was kind of happenstance. So let's see if anyone can learn strength. Um, I might just teach it to salt or something. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna teach it to salt. <laughs> Congratulations, salt. No more room for- oh jeez, I'm gonna- I'm just- okay, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center and I'm gonna have to get rid of this old Amber that I went out of my way to pick up. I honestly might put, like, the bicycle away or, or something because, like, you know what, this- this makes full heals make more sense. Um, because- it, it would be more valuable to have, like, an item that only takes up one room in your slot, but you can have, like, a only one slot in your bag, but you can have, like, a lot of them. I always thought it was kind of dumb, like, in later games, because it's like, why is this so expensive when, like, I could just buy, like, some antidotes and stuff and, like, just have them all in my bag, like... Um, but now it's making more sense. I feel like it was this thing where you had so much bag management in Gen 1. Okay, um, so it's not like we really need surf and stuff. Um, see I want to like, I, I don't need these max ethers. <laughs> Um, I want- I- I like having things, like, on me. I'm getting rid of the bicycle, because I just don't use it, and... Yeah. Um... Yeah, I like having stuff on me. I like feeling prepared. Um... So this is pretty annoying. Um, we've already taught... Like these eight gems to Pokemon, so we'll get them out again if we feel the need. Because I might want to teach Fly to my theoretical Aerodactyl. We don't need these. Oh, we don't need the old Amber right now. I'll get it back out when we're in Cinnabar. Um, I do want to go wake up that other Snorlax, because isn't there another one? Um, like, to the south of Lavender Town, so I'm gonna hang on to that. Um... Uh, and I'll store the nugget. I was like, I'll go sell it. No, I don't- there's no need. I'll just store it. Okay. So hopefully that'll last us a while. Um... Okay, gotta use strength again. Rare candy. That's not bad, actually. That is something I will actually use. Is there anything back here? Just a little spot where you can fish? I think we're gonna skip getting the rod because I'm just gonna put it in my PC because I can't use it because I can, I'm not gonna catch anything. So 
Safari Zone has a zoo in front of the entrance. Outback is the safari game for catching Pokemon. So yeah, I wanted to go this way. Um, because we still haven't beat Sabrina. So I think we're gonna head back, um, towards Saffron. Are you working on a Pokedex? <laughs> Professor Oaksaid came by here. Nope. Not working on my Pokedex. We all know this. Oh, but here's the aid. Hi, remember me? I'm Professor Oaksaid. If you caught 50 kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an XP all. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be a nice item to have? So, Mary, have you caught at least 50 kinds of Pokemon? Yes. Let's see. Uh-oh! You have caught only 13! Honestly, that's more than, like, I would guess. 13 kinds of Pokemon. You need 50 kinds if you want the XP all. So, no flash and no XP all. Um, yeah, I think the team is looking fine. It's not like we really fought anything. Monitor is missing one HP. I don't know. I don't remember why. <laughs> Want to play with my Pokemon. Junior trainer wants to fight. Okay, so speakers can definitely handle herself at this point. Yep. Oh, oh no. Um, just gonna use another body slam. Nope. Well, at least now that I'm poisoned, I can't, you know, be poisoned again, I guess. I really like all the Gen 1 grass Pokémon. I just think they're all, like, really cute and stuff. I really prefer the, um, like, the beta, the beta designs for the Tangula evolutionary line. Um, I don't really- I, I like a lot of, um, beta designs better than what they actually ended up going with. Um, I think a lot of people feel that way, and I think a lot of people are kind of biased. I think that um, when you get presented with um, the beta designs, like, people are really excited about them, and, like, um, they're all pretty, like, simplistic and cute, and so they're pretty appealing. That Tangula actually did a number. That was pretty impressive. I was too impatient. Um, let's just go ahead because we're trying to, like, deal with too much stuff in our bag. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this full restore on speakers. All better. When I whistle, I can summon bird Pokemon. Bird Keeper wants to fight. Bird Keeper sent out Pidgeotto. So yeah, I think there's like some sort of like psychological bias when it comes to um, the way certain designs are presented and stuff like um people are like oh like these like 
these would have been, like, so much better. These would have been, like, so much worse. Um, and it's like, you don't actually know, like, if you would have felt that way, if that were the design that they went with. <laughs> um... But, you know, keeping that in mind, I do like a lot of the, the beta designs better. Um, I don't- I don't really like Tangrowth's design. I feel like in that generation, um, that was like the same generation they had with like Licky Licky and stuff. I don't really like evolutions where they just kind of made the Pokemon fatter. Um, where like Tangrowth is just Tangula, but like it's a lot bigger and rounder and fatter. And like that's what Licky Licky is to Lickitung. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like that's not, um, I just don't really like that, like, design pattern in some of the later gens when they, like, add on evolutions and stuff. Um, I guess I'll just keep surfing. But yeah, I like how the, like, beta Tangula evolution, like, you can't see its eyes anymore. My birds are shivering. You're good, aren't you? Because, like, it just gives you, like, a better sense of, like, it kind of being, like, overgrown. And, like, even more of its face is obscured. That is, like... That sprite is kind of amusing. It looks like Dodrio has on, like, eyeshadow or something. Um, I think that's a pretty funny looking sprite. I think speakers is gonna be really, really tough once we get it like 10, 15 more levels or so and it's kind of caught up more with the rest of the team. Oh my goodness, is this gonna get five? You did. Confuse Ray. Um, okay, so I looked up what Mist does. And I think that Mist could maybe be useful in a pinch. It's supposed to, like, get rid of, like, all the stat, like, buffs and stuff. So I feel like maybe if you're, like, trapped against someone that's, like, using Minimize over and over, um, Mist could be good for that. Um, we obviously can't get rid of Surf. Am I actually gonna use Sing? Probably not, but would Confuse Ray be more useful? Maybe. Yeah, so I think we're gonna get rid of Sing, and I'll probably just replace Confuse Ray later on, too. Or I might end up, uh, getting rid of Mist, because I'm never gonna use it, except for, like, in a really, really specific scenario. And then if I ever find myself in that scenario, I'm gonna be like, dang it, I shouldn't have gotten rid of Mist. But we will just see what happens. I'm gonna run out of PP pretty soon, and then someone else is gonna have to be put up front. But yeah, I think it was pretty worth it to train up speakers. Let me try out the Pokemon I just caught, got in a trade. I think you're gonna be regretting this trade, little girl. <laughs> But yeah, on the um, topic of like designs that like they didn't act. Oh, I'm asleep. Dang it! 
um, designs that, like, they could have theoretically gone with, but, like, didn't. Um, this is not Pokemon related, but there was, like, this kind of old, like, um, I'm gonna call it Lost. Um, let's go with Monitor. Uh, like, Americanized Sailor Moon concept, where they wanted to, like, buy the IP and then kind of, um, you know, turn it into, like, its own thing. Not really, like, a, uh, maybe kind of like a Robotech situation, um, but they wanted to, like, mix it with live action. Um, you, you can Google it, you can look it up. People, like, love to, um, people love to, like, pull it out. Um, and make fun of it, and they're like, oh my god, these designs... Because they, like, redesigned all the characters and stuff to make them look more American or whatever. Um, the same way that they, um... That they did end up, like, redesigning a bunch of, like, Sailor Moon merch when it came over to America. Um, because they were like, oh, their their eyes are just too big. They're They're too... Too Japanese <laughs> and cutesy. This will never sell in America. Um, so yeah, if you like the if you go back and look at those, the designs for that like never to be TV show, um, they're they're really similar to just other stuff that came before it. Like they're really similar to like stuff like um, like Gem and the Holograms comes to mind. Um, I would maybe even compare it to something like. Uh, like, maybe Captain Planet. Like, that's just kind of, like, what it reminds me of off the top of my head. And, like, people are like, oh, I'm so glad that, like, the, like this project died. Like, this, this project would have been, like, the worst thing ever. Um, and, like, I always feel like that's such a lie. I feel like people are so nostalgic for their childhoods. And I feel like if that show ever came to be, people, people would eat it up and defend it. And it would just, it would have its own fandom and like, um, and like there, people would like be just as obsessed with like comparing it to, to the original and stuff. Um, yeah, I think if that like ever like actually aired on TV and became a part of someone's childhood, they, they would totally like defend it to the death. Um, so I think that's something that, like, people, like, kind of, like, 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 they claim that, like, they would hate those designs, but I don't think so. Um, let's see here. I need to move speakers from up front. Um... I think we're gonna go with Monitor. Give Monitor a few levels. Fork over all your cash when you lose to me, kid. feel about a lot of the original Pokemon sprite designs and stuff. Stuff like, you know, coughing, having the skull on its forehead and stuff. Um, I think a lot of people have kind of, like, let go of the old sprites. I think a lot more people um, are more into, like, how um, the Gen 2 sprites looked. Um, and I think a lot of people kind of prefer that style. But I think everyone kind of agrees that the Gen 1 sprites are pretty wonky looking. Um, a lot of them didn't age, a bit, age the best. A lot of the um, changes were kind of for the best. Yeah, okay, let's get... I'm never gonna use Disable. <laughs> um, but I feel like it's a little silly to have like Confusion, Psybeam, and Psychic. Um, but yeah, I'm never gonna use Disable. I mean, that's really all I think I need at this point, is like... 
psychic <laughs> and I guess maybe recover. Munder's pretty set at this point. Hey kid, kid, come on. I just got these. Biker wants to fight. Yeah, I think now that I have Psychic, Monder's gonna be a little bit... a little bit overpowered. Oh, it's such a shame that Monitor can't be an Alakazam. Like, did anyone, like, I've talked about this before, about how I'd, I didn't have, like, the, um, hardware to make trades happen as a kid, um, so, like, those third trade evolution Pokemon, like, have just always been out of reach, and they're still out of reach, even, like, playing this in the future. Like, if you want them, you have to, like, play some sort of hack or, like, um, you know, play a fan game that has them. Or, or just play, like, one of the later games where, like, you can do the online trading and so you have access to basically everything. Um... But for the for the older generations, just no Gengars, no Machamps, no Alakazams. Just can't can't have cool things. Oh, you're a little cutie. I feel like this lady's hitting on me. Beauty wants to fight. I'm gonna use up all my psychics. That's why I need Psybeam and Confusion for when I use up all my psychics. Oh, whoops. Uh, no, I'm actually not gonna change. Wigglytuff is a little terrifying. Those, those eyes and that expression. A little scary, not gonna lie. You look gentle, so I think I can beat you. It's Pikachu. Mind crush. Goodbye, Pikachu. Ooh, a Raichu. Mind crush. Oh, wow! It survived! That is, that is a tough cookie. Not tough enough, though. I'm not into it, but okay, let's go. I mean, if you're not into it, like, you, by all means, decline. <laughs> like, even though you initiated, like, you can, you can be like, eh, maybe, maybe some other time. That, we're starting to see more of the evolved sprites and like, I, I'm not used to seeing them. Like I'm, 
I feel like I'm really used to seeing the older sprites for like the more popular Pokemon, like obviously the starters and stuff. Um, I don't know like when I last saw that Firo sprite besides just now. Okay, Monitor is just doing really well here. <laughs> I mean, it helps that, like, Monitor's level is almost double of its opponents. But I think I'm gonna run out of PP before I run out of HP. <laughs> Another nice thing about not catching too many Pokemon, you're not really that worried about like, oh, well, like, which one should I actually train up? Like, you know, how how huge of a team do I want to try to maintain as, like, viable options? Where, yeah, it's like, well, I really only have six Pokemon right now. So I just train my six Pokemon, and then they all are super tough. What's cool? Trading Pokemon. I don't know if I want to be cool. Because I don't really want to trade Pokemon. I said trade. Okay, let's see what this one is. Rage? Oh, what a joke. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know, I found that to be a little insulting for the game to offer me rage. Pokemon fight? Cool. Rumble. Can I use the Poke Flu to like wake up my own Pokemon? Like how in later gens they had like the, like the yellow flued and whatever, and you could like use them in battle. Can I use it out of battle? Can I use it to wake up my Lapras? The answer is probably no, but I'm gonna try it. Blown away. Played the Poke Flute. Now that's a catchy tune. But like... Speakers is still asleep. <laughs> Perfect. I need to burn some time. That's what we're all doing.
So yeah, I'm thinking about just having Monitor up front for when I fight Sabrina, and it's just gonna be a psychic, psychic battle. Just see who has the, the best spoon bending abilities. Because monitors are really cleaning up out here. <laughs> Just a patch of grass. You can probably catch like lick a tongue or something in there. I think that's why it's sort of special and taped off. Have you heard of the legendary Pokemon? You know, at this point, there's so many legendary Pokemon that there's probably a ton that I haven't heard of, yeah. Like, I'm not sure which gen- pro probably gen 3 was a really big offender for adding, like, too many legendaries. Because you had, like, the three main ones that were, like, on the box- on, on like, the game boxes. We ride out here because there's more room. But then, like, you also had, like, the Reggies and, like, Deoxys and, like, I don't even know if- Deoxys counts as, like, multiple Pokemon or not, because it had, like, the multiple forms. Um... Not that, like, you could get it in the game. <laughs> um... I don't know why I'm thinking about switching. I'm not. Down it goes. And then on top of that, you had, like, the Regis and Jirachi and, like, yeah, Gen 3 had so many legendaries. I think, I think the Regis were what kind of, like, overdid it. Um. Because you were kind of used to it being, like, um... Like five, because you had you had like a trio and then a duo, because you had like the legendary birds and then Mew and Mewtwo, and then Gen two you had the legendary dogs, and then you had Lugia and Ho. -Oh. I guess you also had Celebi, so I guess like the amount of legendaries just got ex exponential. They just kept adding more each gen, I guess. So, Monitor should basically be like a speed demon at this point. I'm not like critting every time, but I expect crits to not really be unusual with Monitor. Very nice. Well done. Yeah, just playing Confusion is, is doing the trick. TMs are on sale in Celadon, but only a few people have HMs.
trying to learn reflect. Um. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with no. I'm not. Just because it is proving to be useful to have both Psychic and Psybeam and Confusion on one Pokemon. Um. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna use Reflect. Especially since I did end up keeping Recover. So, like, if I'm worried about getting hit, I would just heal. Yeah, this is like a preview for what's gonna happen <laughs> with Sabrina. It's just gonna be confusion versus confusion. Nothing over there. Oh no, it's this fenced area. My bird Pokemon should be ready for battle. I'm gonna run out of confusions. <laughs> I think the game sort of expects you to spend a lot more time, like, being indecisive about your party and wanting to, like, um, wanting to train up Pokemon just kind of to, to see them evolve and stuff. Um, or I guess to, to fill up your Pokedex. Um, because it just feels like with the scaling, like, if you only have a team of, like, of, of six, like, not even, like, fewer, um, the way that the EXP gets, like, spread out, you're pretty tough by the time you get to this point in the game. Now, I could be, um, I could be wrong when, like, maybe we'll get Sabrina and maybe, like, her Pokemon will be like, super, super high level, and it'll be apparent that all of this was just the game trying to prep you for that, and so they gave you a bunch of punching bags <laughs> along the way. Um, oh my god, that guy moves back? That's annoying. Oh, whoops, I meant to, like, walk further ahead of this guy to get him to move out of the way. Whoopsie. Not that it matters. I probably shouldn't spend too much time in this little maze. It's such a... I feel like it's such a relic. Um... I feel like it just ages so poorly in the remakes, and it's just such a, a weird little area that, that it it almost kind of feels like lazy design. It's like, oh, well, we need, like, an area for the player to walk through, and we need to, like, you know, have it be a little bit difficult to navigate and, like, put some trainers in there. Let's just straight up make, like, a maze. 
a maze of fences instead of like just any sort of like more interesting area. <laughs> There's not even like a story to it. It's it's not even like um Like, they don't even try to, like, cover it up, where it's like, oh yeah, like, there's, like, you know, famous fence maker at the end or something. Like, they're just like, yeah, here you go. Here's this maze in, in the middle of the wilderness. Good luck. <laughs> Oh, here we go. We can just get out. I I hope. I think this might just be like a little patch of grass for our troubles. If it's not the exit. Is this the exit? Bell sprout. Nope, not the exit. Just a little patch of grass for your troubles. Wow, your badges are too cool. Okay, I'm down to my last three confusions. Pretty sure I have like ethers in my bag. I'm not gonna use them. So this isn't a double battle. I'm pretty sure this is just two trainers separate. Yeah, so. That's kind of interesting. Um, how are you even supposed to get the, that sign that they're in front of? I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. With that, it is time to swap out someone else. Like... Because don't these just, like, move back to where- I guess you can just read the sign from the other side. A ratata? Really? Oh, whoops, I forgot to actually move someone else to the front. A ratata with focus energy? What else is it going to use? Rage? Like, some, some of these trainers have been a little bit of a joke. <laughs> I guess that's why there's just so many, like, hacks and challenge ideas and, like, ways that people want to make this game harder. Um... 
Um, okay, let's actually switch Aloe back up front. I guess we could surf. Let's surf for the fun of it. Speakers is asleep, but speakers can still surf. Oh! People will still challenge me even if I'm in the water. That's not really that unexpected, but it's interesting. Using a Pidgey, come on. Meowth really looks like a beckoning cat in that sprite's pose. Trying to learn growth. I don't think I'm gonna bother with that. I really do. I really do feel insulted by these Rattata. <laughs> what level does Rattata even evolve at? That's a question. Maybe if, like, it doesn't evolve until, like, level 30 or something, it's less insulting. But I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep swimming. Oops, I accidentally stopped swimming. Swimming, swimming. Yeah, I might, I might try to like fight some of these folks. Ooh, item. Like later, I guess. I don't know. Um, I'm not even sure. When is the split so I can get to Vermilion? I don't think it really matters. Because I can also just get to Saffron from Lavender Town. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through here. Have we been up here? My Pokemon's ashes are stored in Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. Well, what's the TM? Swift. Hmm. Looked into binoculars. It's Pokemon Tower. Yeah, I thought it might be, like, more interesting if, like, the TM she gave us was, like, something spooky. I don't know, like, curse or something. And then it wasn't. and get a jump on the bag management here. Get rid of- oh yeah, because I wanted to like wake up the Snorlax, that's why I wanted to go by Vermilion. Oh well. Just gonna store all these TMs. I need to remember that I have a rare candy. Next time someone levels up, I'll use it on them. Um, 
Yeah, and you know what? I'm also gonna drop off... Um... I think I'm gonna drop off salt. And get out pencil. Using my bike is no longer an option. So we're just gonna mosey our way towards Saffron. I don't know if I really needed to um, fight all those trainers or not. I'm really curious. Actually, I should go, or wait, didn't I just heal in Lavender Town? I did, didn't I? Yes. But yeah, I'm really curious just how tough Sabrina's going to be. If, like, I absolutely needed to fight all those trainers and grind. Sabrina is young, but she's also our leader. You won't reach her easily. Psychic wants to fight. I think there's like a dog barking outside. I don't know if you can hear that. I hope you can. It's pretty annoying. That slowpoke survived a crit? That's crazy. Um, yeah, I'll just razor leaf you. It's <laughs> probably what I should have used in the first place, but oh well. I think the uh, newest addition to the Slowpoke line is a little silly, the one where the shelter clamps onto its arm, so it has the, the evolved version like clamped onto its arm, and I guess hit, hits things with it. Um, it just makes me worried, like that they're gonna like keep keep going with that and it's like oh like well this time the shelter clamped onto its leg um and they're gonna have to like just keep trying to figure out what part of the slowpoke to attach the shelter to <laughs> Like, maybe it could clamp onto, like, its snout, and it gets hit and has this, like, weird, like, shell muzzle. That would be really weird. I hope that they don't go with that idea. not one of those people I was creeped out by Mr. Mime, um, especially when uh, Detective Pikachu came out, like the movie. Um, I thought I thought it was great. I wasn't, like, when the trailer came out, a lot of people were like, oh, Mr. Mime is so creepy. I just, I just thought it looked great. Made me, it made me like Mr. Mime more. When, like, there's a part of the franchise that kind of, like, properly shows off, like, the personality of a Pokemon, it makes me like it more. Because I like to be really critical of, like, a lot of Pokemon designs, and, like, I'm like, uh, it's so ugly. Um, 
But like if I play a game or or like there's something like Detective Pikachu where like um they like spotlights a lot of Pokemon, like I'll start to like them more. I've actually played a little bit of the Detective P Pikachu game, like the one on DS, um, that the movie's based on. Um, I haven't finished it, like, on purpose, because, um, I have a tendency to play DS games when, like, I'm traveling somewhere. Um, obviously I'm not really gonna be going anywhere anytime soon. Um... But, um, I want to save it for if I have, like, a long plane ride or a long car ride or something. Um, um I will try this way. Pokemon take on the appearance of their trainers. Your Pokemon must be tough then. I'm a, I'm just a really tough looking ten year old. Well, I am I am a strong silent type, so so yeah. I mean, I guess I guess I do give off the tough vibe. Okay, I'm, I see, like, the line of logic, how it's like, okay, psychic powers, mediums, mediums talk to the dead, so the mediums should use ghost Pokemon, but it's still a psychic gym. <laughs> like, I know, I know they're trying, trying their best, and I shouldn't be a stickler, but, like, why couldn't there have been a haunter in the poison gym? But yeah, so I haven't finished Detective Pikachu, um, kind of on purpose. I want to, I want to savor it. I want to, um, because it's so, so, so cute. Um, it's really good for when you're, um, like traveling and you're stuck somewhere and you're kind of bored and miserable. Um, it's such a cute game. And all the Pokemon in it, they give them, like, so much personality. Um, and I think the localization is really good, and all the voice talent on it is really good. Um, Toxic's not gonna be very effective. I think we're just stuck with Bubble Beam here. But yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon in that game that, like, I was pretty lukewarm towards, and then, like, they introduce them as characters, and they give them, like, a lot of personality, and, like, give them, like, some really cute voice acting, and, like, makes me warm up to them. So yeah, maybe it's not even, like, um, people just being biased and nostalgic about liking a lot of the older designs better. Maybe it just has to do with how a lot of people were introduced to those designs through the anime, and, like, the anime, like, just gave so many, um, of those Pokemon, like, so much personality.
And so, like, the design doesn't matter. The, it's, like, what, what, like, personalities and, like, um, like, how much character do you, like, associate with this image? I think that kind of has more to do with it. I totally should have used Bite. Actually, maybe I can use Toxic. Oh. <laughs> this is actually going really poorly. Oh. Maybe we can just get you to flinch a bunch. You're, you just keep using Growl, so... Yeah, just just keep using growl. And we'll we'll get there eventually. to Sabrina. Um, I think the team is looking fine. Um, I'll just use some super potions because I have them. I bought them. Might as well use them. did want to go ahead and put monitor up front. Oop. There we go. I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic powers since I was a child. I first learned to bend spoons with my mind. I dislike fighting, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. Let's do it. Okay, mine is faster. Mine also hits a lot harder. Oh no. Oh, just my confusion. Here, I'll finish you off with Psybeam. or does it keep going? Oh, it keeps going. I always assume that double slap is like double kick and it only hits twice. Kazam. Final boss. I am one level higher than it. Critical hit. Oh, it's got it. It's using recover. Okay. Well, let's see how long you can keep that up. if I just use confusion on you. Are you just gonna use recover no matter what? Am I just gonna have to stall out your recovers? 
Is this seriously how the AI is responding? You have 20 of them. Am I just gonna sit here and try to use up your recovers? I might. I kind of want to, <laughs> now that I have the idea in my head. So, how is y'all's week going? Um... Mine's been okay. Um... Uh... Me and Keith, uh, relatively recently moved to a new place, and we're trying to, like, get it fixed up, because it has a lot of problems. Um, so that's been really annoying. It kind of feels like everywhere we turn, there's, like, a new hole just somewhere, um, or, like, a new thing is broken. We had kind of a false alarm where we were really worried that our stove was broken, and it turned out that the electrical outlet that it was plugged into got, um, like, shut off, and it, and it was, like, due to us, like, um, trying to fix some other stuff in the house, and, like, I, I can't remember, like, the proper terminology for it, but it's, like, um, sometimes there's, like, a button, um, on outlets that you can, like, accidentally hit, and, like, it can turn off the outlet, essentially. Um, and so that happened because we were taking off outlet covers um, to try to help with, like, air tightness and to make sure that, like, the outlets were, like, properly in the wall. And, because a lot, because we found out that some of them weren't, and so we wanted to go around and try to make sure that they, that others were okay. Um... I'm just, this is such a, this is such a silly battle. I'm just here hitting A over and over, waiting for this to run out of, run out of recovers. <laughs> um, so yeah, so because we were messing with our outlets, um, one, one of them had that, like, switch flipped or whatever that turned it off, and apparently that controlled most of the outlets in our kitchen. Thankfully, it did not, um control the outlet our refrigerator was plugged into but that only made us more confused because like we were like the you know the fridge is working like we didn't think it had to do with the outlets we just thought that um that it had to do with like the appliances themselves where we had multiple appliances plugged into multiple outlets and jumped to the conclusion that the appliances themselves were broken and so we were like looking into like replacing them and getting them fixed um, and, like, then we realized, oh, we just have to hit this one switch. And then the outlets came back on and everything was working fine again. Um, so yeah, like, where we, it just sort of felt like one problem was leading to another. Um, and, and yeah. So just tons of tons of stuff like that where like um we we clean something out or we move something around or like we we take something down. Um no PP left for that. Psybeam time. <laughs> See, this is this is why I needed to have three psychic moves that are all essentially the same thing on my Kadabra. Wait a minute, I just realized. Gen 1, the opponents don't have a PP count. Like they do in later gens. Your opponents in Gen 1 can't run out of PP. This has been a flawed strategy from the beginning. I need to switch Pokemon. I am so sorry. <laughs> I only just remembered. I was like, it'll just run out of recovers. It's not a big deal. Like, whatever. Like, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I 
Okay, monitor, you did a good job. <laughs> okay, it's finally mixing it up. It's mixing it up. It's using a different move. I completely forgot. Oh no. Oh, come on. Uh... Do I want to get hit? I'm just gonna try to use use Leech Life. That did nothing. Okay, now I'm gonna use Razor Leaf. Oh, okay, now it's gonna... Okay, Aloe went down. <laughs> I feel so silly now for trying to get it to run out of PP. Um, let's confuse you. Let's just get every ailment that we can get going, going. She's infinite recovers! I, I just completely... <laughs> I'm glad they fixed that in later gens. That's actually pretty hilarious. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna switch and see if I can't get Lamp to make it flinch. Okay, so like, it's, I don't know if this counts as a tough battle or not. Um, <laughs> cause, well, let's see, maybe, maybe it's gonna start taking out my team. Oh, I had it like that, like that time it was like so close. I should have like swooped in and finished it off or something, but I just didn't. Okay. Let's just hope it misses. Oh, it did. Is this gonna is this gonna be the final? Are we gonna be able to finish it off? Yes. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't say that was like a hard battle, even though it did manage to take out one of my Pokemon, but like that was just more of like a weird technicality, I forgot some of the Gen 1 rules. Like it wasn't hard, it was just like, oh don't, don't forget this like random <laughs> loophole basically. Where your opponent has infinite recovers and the AI isn't going to use anything else. Okay, what what TM did we get? I think it. I think she said it had psychic in it. I'm still like reeling at my own silliness. Psy wave. Okay, it has psy wave. Oh wait, was there a way to get out? No, because, okay. Okay, just gotta try to find my way out. Uh, yeah, Sabrina wasn't hard. <laughs> but... I don't know. I guess that battle sort of spoke for itself. Uh, looking for the Pokemon Center. Here we go. Yeah, I was like, yeah, buckle up. This is gonna take a while. I didn't realize that it would take infinity. Buckle up. Let me tell you, like, a story about my... my <laughs> about me making other, like, 
core assessments. <laughs> Okay. How do I want to do this? Um... I don't know if I want to bother fighting all those trainers. Um... That are kind of to the right. And down. Um... Okay, we're also going to have to, like, go through the Seafoam Islands, like, I think I might call it here. Um, we did get another gym badge. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for watching.